Um, hey there, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm super excited because we're diving into something really cool, the Fedora 40 features. Yeah, I know, I'm geeking out a bit, but hey, subtle changes can make a big difference, right? So what exactly can we expect from Fedora 40? Well, buckle up, because I've got all the juicy details for you. All right, so Fedora 39 brought us some pretty neat stuff, including that new immutable variant. But now, it's time to talk about Fedora 40, set to hit our screens on April 16th, 2024. That's right around the corner, folks. The beta was initially planned for March 26th, 2024, so mark your calendars. Now, Fedora 40 is packed with plenty of improvements, but it might not be as flashy as some of us hoped. For example, the Anaconda Web UI installer got pushed back to Fedora 41. Bummer, I know. But hey, let's not dwell on what could have been. Instead, let's focus on what Fedora 40 brings to the table. So, first up, we've got Genome 46. Yeah, the latest and greatest in desktop environments. Genome 46 brings some sweet accessibility enhancements, improves user experience, and gives us more control over our privacy and security. Plus, have you seen the new file manager refinements? So sleek. And guess what? Fedora 40 introduces Snapshot, a replacement for the Cheese webcam app. It's all about those little upgrades that make our lives easier, right? But wait, there's more. Fedora 40 also jumps on the KDE Plasma 6 train. Yep, we're talking about sleek design and improved performance here, folks. And get this. Fedora's Kinoid Atomic Desktop now offers a Wayland session. Talk about futuristic. Now let's talk about Atomic Desktops. Fedora 40 ditches the term immutable for its spins and introduces atomic desktops instead. It's all about marketing and simplicity, my friends. Ah, but we can't forget about the technical stuff, can we? Fedora 40 comes with Linux kernel 6.8, bringing improved hardware compatibility and support for the latest components. Plus, Network Manager now handles conflicts of duplicate IPv6 addresses like a champ. And how about those system security hardening settings? Fedora 40's got you covered. Oh, and did I mention the randomized MAC addresses for Wi-Fi connections? Yeah, Fedora 40's all about keeping your network privacy on point. Pretty cool, huh? Of course, Fedora 40 also comes with updated apps and packages under the hood. We're talking Firefox 123, Ruby 3.3, PHP 8.3, and more. Oh. And say hello to Wugget 2, the modern alternative to good old Wugget. So there you have it, folks. Fedora 40 is right around the corner, and it's bringing some pretty sweet upgrades with it. If you can't wait, you can always try the beta release or the pre-release build. Trust me, it's worth it.